You understand? I'm not saying America is the devil, because America belongs to Native Americans. Right. I'm not saying all white people are devils. Don't put that crap on me. I heard a brother say, the system. How do you get out of the system? What the heck does that mean? That's another con. What do you mean by the system? You know, the establishment. You're in it. You're a part of it. You're going to eat dinner tonight. <laughs> you want to get out of the system? Stop buying food. <laughs> Don't play like you want to get out of the system only in that which you're not succeeding in. And the thing that you can't do on your way to the, what do you call it, the liquor store. Get a can of beer, American beer, Budweiser. <laughs> Drink the beer, so I said, God damn America, I hate this place. <laughs> <laughs> Jump in a car made in America. Stop over at an American gas station to get Arab oil. <laughs> Go to hot wings to get some chicken wings from the Chinese. <laughs> you don't see the game? The devil is doing his work, y'all. 24 hours a day. He got our mind. Let's find this place. This place is definitely a place of confusion. Said, devil, and a hole of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. You see that? That's where we live at. The birds are symbolic of people in their souls in ancient times. That's why the dove was used for Christ. You understand? They're talking about hateful, unclean spirits. People who are spiritually possessed. To do mischief. Children are killing children in school. Oh, was a nine-year-older? An eleven-year-older shot somebody a couple of weeks ago with that? Killing their parents. Selling drugs. Elijah was supposed to turn their hearts of the fathers towards their sons. They saw that in the nation of Islam. I'm not in the nation of Islam, I never was in the nation of Islam, but I'm not blind. I saw the nation of Islam as the most organized organization I've ever seen in America, except the United States military, right? They were organized whether we liked it or not. They had one leader, the Muhammad Elijah Muhammad, one guard, Master Brahma Muhammad, a bunch of ministers, they had a, a dress code, their own flag, their own political system, their own food chain, they had everything. Same thing with Yahweh bin Yahweh. He messed around and let them trick him into saying nothing can happen to me. Never say. <laughs> Never say nothing can happen to you. That's exactly what they'll make happen just to prove you wrong. I remember the first time I saw the tape when Yahweh bin Yahweh made the statement. I told everybody in the congregation next week, I said, he messed up. He said, nobody can touch me. My father's there in a flying saucer looking down over me. If they touch a hair on my head, he's going to destroy it. I heard him, I said, oh man, brother. I wish I could call him on the phone and say, retract that statement. But the devil will go out just to prove you wrong. And he did. And the next thing you saw is God in handcuffs on his way to jail. <laughs> then his father's got to make up something else, see? Just like Jesus went to jail. And forget that the hair, one hair on my head shouldn't be touched. All right, you hear me? Where are we at? For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornications with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed witch through the abundance of her jealousy. Who is this? Is this not the world trade building? Is this not the United Nations? Our people made rich by buying and selling hair, if you don't believe me. Ask what's his name? Gaddafi. Not Gaddafi. Uh, Saddam Hussein. America told the whole world, don't sell them nothing. <coughs> what they call it? Sanctioning. Sanctioning. Cut them off. Like Revelation chapter 13 says, whoever doesn't have the mark of the beast will not be able to what? Buy or sell no more in thee. So a man to stand up and tell people, starve that man to death. And 